declaring a state disaster. Forward Mayor Betsy Price is expected. Shutting down his airways. It's cold. Are you cold, honey? Are you cold? that comes out of our minds when we hear the word disease. Yes, we become concerned and think of it as a life-threatening situation. We speculate that they may have neglected it and showed no concern of it. However, there are numerous ways we can reduce the likelihood of these illnesses. For today's video, we are going to give you some advices to protect our body particularly our respiratory and circulatory systems. Let us first go back to how our respiratory and circulatory systems work before we move further with that. The organs and other parts of your body that engage us in breathing and exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide makes up the system. Your body absorbs oxygen and releases carbon dioxide through inhalation and exhalation respectively. We must not allow our respiratory system to be injured because it is designed to prevent harmful airborne substances from entering your lungs. On the other side, circulatory system removes waste and provides oxygen and nutrition to your cells. Major parts of the body, the heart, blood, and the blood vessels. Different areas of the body receives blood that has been oxygenated and blood that has, that has been lost. Respiratory and circulatory system works together. In the modern world, diseases from respiratory system commonly affects people. And illnesses or sicknesses that affects body's airways is referred as respiratory disease. We commonly encounter a few respiratory diseases such as coughing, fever, shortness of breath, and a runny nose. Amongst the respiratory illnesses that we must avo avoid are asthma, lung cancer, pneumonia, and COVID-19, which is still a big problem in today's life. Diseases can affect more than just our respiratory system. In addition, it can actually impair our circulatory system if we do not take good care of it. We can experience issues such as heart attack, cardiac ischemia, heart failure, and having a high blood pressure. Let's keep in mind that if we take good care of our bodies and are aware of the things, ideas, techniques, that can help us avoid issues with our respiratory and circulatory system. We can avoid and can't have these illnesses into our systems. Well now, let you know about various methods that can be a big help to all of you. For our respiratory system, Number one, please, if we can stop smoking, then let's do it. Cigarettes are the big cause of having problems in the system and it makes breathing difficult. Number two, avoid exposing yourself to indoor pollutants like molds, pollens, and other more that can harm your lungs. This is to help you in preventing allergies or asthma. The outside air might occasionally be dangerous to breathe because it changes throughout the day. Number three, to prevent germs from entering your system, you should wash your hands frequently. Number four, when coughing and sneezing, cover your mouth and noses to prevent spreading of a certain virus. And lastly, improve your immune system by maintaining good health by eating foods rich in vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium, and other more. As a result, your body will be more resistant to ailments like respiratory infections. A robust immune system can help you avoid respiratory diseases. Next is for circulatory system. Number one. 
Consume heart healthy foods. Consuming wholesome foods like fruits and vegetables helps lower blood pressure and minimize your risk of developing heart diseases. Number two, get a good quality sleep or sleep early. Sleep soundly or go to bed early. A sound sleep helps lower blood pressure and lower the risk of diabetes, heart attacks, and strokes. It produces a stronger immune system and improves respiratory and circulatory control. Number three, maintain a healthy weight. Obesity can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Additionally, it can result in impaired circulation which can result in blood clots. And lastly, engage in at least 30 to 60 minutes of movement each day. The heart doesn't have to pump as much blood to the muscles because exercises improves the muscles' ability to draw oxygen from the blood. Another strategy to improve your long-term health is by having more blood because that results in increased blood flow. Let me share a trivia with you before ending this video. Did you know that respiratory failures and infections cause over 4.5 million deaths annually? Now that you're aware, smoking cigarettes is an unhealthy habit that causes and damages our respiratory systems. Tobacco, chemical additives, a filter, and a wrapping paper helps compensate a cigarette. These are just the basic elements. This session is coming to an end now, and we sincerely hope that our advices were able to help you take good care of your respiratory and circulatory systems. Everyone, remember that as you take good care of your health, you should always be joyful. As the saying goes, laughter and happiness are the best medicines. Research shows that laughing is very good for your health, especially for your heart. It lessens the production of stress hormones, lowers the risk of heart disease, enhances the blood vessel function, boosts blood flow, and has a lot of other beneficial effects. So, be sure to make time to laugh every day. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video. Goodbye and take care of your health always. respiratory system. Anak ko lima. In the modern world. Like we can have experience in issues. <laughs> <laughs>